तो गाइज यू आर वॉचिंग जूमन गैन माई नेम इज निधि जैन एंड गाइज टूडेज वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट मोडाल पेपर एज यू नो वी हैव स्टार्टेड द सीरीज ऑफ ए टू मोडाल पेपर एज द लास्ट फोर सीरीज so this is a A2 modal paper series I hope you gonna enjoy it I hope you are practicing it I hope you are keeping your copies and pen with you you can practice all the three modules with us so this whole will be the modal paper one of A2 and we'll be go uh, we'll be going it uh, till modal paper four so please stay tuned and do let me know uh, what are your further requirements do let me know in the comment section uh, comment section that what exactly you want uh, and we'll see you in the end. In lesion module you have four tiles tile 1 tile 2 tile 3 and tile 4 In lesion tile 1 you have to first read the text and then answer the following questions Now as you can see this is the text for the lesion tile 1 now don't start reading the text directly first read out the questions and then find the answers from this text Now as you are in A2 level that means you must understand the text completely and then find the answer As you can see some of the questions are already done for you Now read the question the question is D Bezukher by Dan Konstantin and now go through all the three options which are given to you and then go back to the text and try to find the answer Now as you can see The last line of the first paragraph gives you the answer of your first question. Like this, read out the next question, go through the options and then find the answer. Question number 3, 4 and 5 are for you. First, read the question, go through the options and then try to find the answers. Don't read the text in the starting otherwise you will forget what you have read and it will waste your time. So, Remember to first read the questions. In lesion tile 2 some information is given to you. Again first read the questions and then find the answer. In this slide you can see some of the terms which is UG, EG and ERS stock. So UG is your untergeschoss which means basement, EG is your erdgeschoss which means your ground floor and ERS stock means your first floor. Also you can see the information like what is available in basement or on the ground floor or on the first floor because now you have to give the answers according to these informations which are given Swite stock is your second floor and Drite stock is your third floor and what is available on the second floor and third floor is given to you Now read out the question. The question is: Z suchen ein Buch auf Deutsch auf CD, weil Z is im Auto hören möchten. And now look at the three options what are given to you, which is EG means your Erdgeschoss, then Erste Stock means your first floor, and third is Andere Stock, which means some other floor. So now what you have to do is you have to put a cross on the answer which is correct. and if the cd is not available on the first floor or on the ground floor then you can mark the answer which is c and there is stock so now to find the answer of this question go back to the slide in which the information is given to you and directly read the box of the eg and first stock so if you find the answer in that floor then put a cross over here otherwise the answer is under its stock when you will read the information box of eg and erste stock you will come to know that in the eg nothing is available according to the question but in the erste stock there is last third option which is hier bucher which means erste stock is your answer like this you have to find the answers of question number 8 9 and 10 read the information patiently and remember to first read the questions and then try to find the answers in lesion tile 3 you get an email and you have to find the answers from that email now look at the screen 
when you will start reading the email you will come to know that this email is an informal email because the email is starting with lieber and lieber is always used in an informal email now the tip for you is don't start reading the text directly first read out the question and their options and then find the answer okay so now let's read the 11th question the question is ajit sagt über seine leben in heidelberg and the options are das er sich gut fühlt das er noch so wenig leute kennt das er eine schöne wohnung hat now you know the possible answers okay now go back to the text and then start reading so as you will start reading you will come to know that you will easily find the answer in the second line only so your answer is option a which means das er sich gut fühlt so now put a cross on the answer which is correct like this read the second question and then the options and then find the answer in the text okay so your question is air fended as good and the options are das er im student haus viele verschiedene sprachen sprechen kann das er freude gefunden hat die deutsche unterrichten third is das er deutsch braucht wenn er mit anderen sprechen will Now when you will go back to the text you will find the answer of this question in the fifth line which is was toll ist wenn wir mit ein ander reden wollen müssen wir deutsch reden um uns zu verstehen so ist mein deutsch viel besser geworden like this we only find the answer of question number 14 and 15 so first read the question and then find the answer In lesson tile four, you get five texts, and to answer those texts, some information is also given to you. So now, in this tile, what you have to do is first read the text, and then find the answer of the text from the options which are given to you. And what you have to remember is you cannot use a option more than once. Plus, there is one text which for which you will not find the answer. So for that what you have to do is you just simply have to put a cross in front of the question or in front of the text for which you are not getting any option Now you can see that there is an example and except that example five texts are given to you for which you have to find the answers from the options which are given in the next slide Now pay attention that option E and option A are already been occupied that means now you cannot use these two options for any of the text and you can also see that for the text number 20 there is already a cross in front of that that means this text didn't match to the options which are given now what you have to remember is you cannot put a cross in front of any other text because it was clearly written in the question that there is only a one text for which you will not find the answer now these are the option for the lesson tile 4 and remember don't use option a because it is already being occupied by the text number 19 these are also the options for the same tile and again remember don't use the option e because it is already being occupied by the by spiel now find the answers of the text number 16 17 and 18 from these options expression module in expression module you have three tiles tile 1 tile 2 and tile 3 In expression tile one, you get four word cards, and from that word cards, you have to frame the questions from each card, and then you have to ask the question from your partner, and your partner will answer you. And before starting this tile, definitely your examiner will ask some questions like your name and like this. Now look at the screen. There are four cards on which some words are written, which is Geburtstag. Lieblings essen, Kinder, and Urlaub. Now, what you have to do is you have to frame a question with each card. 
In this slide, you can see how you can frame a question. Like for the word Geburtstag, you can ask from your partner, Wann haben Sie Geburtstag? For which a possible answer can be Am Zweiten Mai. And like this, for the Lieblings Essen, again, you can frame a question like this, Was ist Ihr Lieblings Essen? For which a possible answer can be, Ich esse am liebsten Fisch, Suppe und Gemüse. And now for Kinder and Urlaub, again you can ask a question like Has to Kinder? For which a answer can be Nein, ich habe noch keine Kinder. And for Urlaub, you can ask Was magst du im Urlaub? For which a answer can be Ich weiß noch nicht, ich würde gern ans mir erfahren. Now the tip for you is Don't try to make complicated questions. Try to frame an easy question and don't include much grammar otherwise you will end up with making more problems. So frame only short and simple questions which is understandable by your partner also. Now in expression tile 2 you have to tell something about yourself for which you get a card with some words. And you have to tell about yourself with the help of those words. Which means you have to include the information about you related to the words which are given to you on that particular card. And when you will end up with telling about yourself, your examiner will ask you some questions. Okay, now in this slide you can see there is a card with some stitch words. So now you have to tell about yourself using these stitch words like we machen sie gern urlaub which means how do you do the vacation so you have to tell this with the help of these words mit wem means with whom and wohin then in which month and then we rise in so like you have to tell about yourself by including all these points now in this slide you can see a possible question which your examiner can ask you and for that you can reply like this Am liebsten mit meiner Familie, mit meiner Frau und den Kindern. Wir machen immer im Sommer Urlaub, wenn es warm ist. Or some other question can be Und wohin fahren Sie dann am liebsten? And again the answer can be Manchmal in die Berge, manchmal an einer See, hier in der Nähe. And some other question can be Und fahren Sie mit dem Zug oder? So like this, you will have to face the questions in your expression tile too. So be prepared, make more sentences on the daily basis so that you can fetch good marks in expression. Now this card is for your practice. Try to frame your own sentences and also try to frame the possible questions which an examiner can ask from you. In expression tile 3, a topic is given on which two candidates talk with each other and every candidate gets a card and some words are written on that and with the help of those words you have to start your conversation and end your conversation. So now the question is Ihr Deutschkurs geht zu Ende und Sie wollen Ihrer Kursleiterin Frau Richter ein Geschenk machen. Was kann man ihr schenken? Machen Sie Vorschläge. Now the question is saying that your Deutsch course is ended and you want to give something to your course teacher. Now you have to make suggestions like what you can gift to her. Now on the screen, this is the card which will be given to the candidate one and according to which candidate one will proceed the conversation. And now this card is for the candidate second and the second candidate will continue his conversation with the help of these words. Okay, so now on the screen, this is a example like how you can start a conversation and how you can make suggestions. Okay, so the tip is learn the ready metals which you can use during your exam and try to start the conversation so that you get more chance to speak plus if you don't understand any question or any sentence then you can ask from your partner again but don't stop in between and don't let your 
partner speak everything as you can see on the screen that both the partners are saying equally like this only you have to speak in your expression exam do not let the another candidate to speak everything otherwise you will lose the marks in schreiben module you will have two tiles tile eins and tile zwei and it is fixed that in schreiben tile you will get a brief to write and one brief will be formal and another will be informal so for this tile what you have to do is learn the ready metals which can help you to fetch the marks now read the question the question is the walden mit ihre freundin heute ins schwimmbad gehen müssen aber arbeiten schreiben sie eine sms an ihre freundin roberta entschuldigen sie dass sie heute nicht kommen können schreiben sie warum schlagen sie einen neuen termin vor now as you read the question you will come to know that this is an informal letter so now what i prefer is if you are writing a informal brief then use the do form because you are writing this letter to your friend but if again you are writing a letter to your parents which is informal but now they are elders so in that case use the z form but for now for this particular question use the do form and there are three points which are given to you so now you have to include all these three points in your schreiben otherwise you will not get the complete marks and one more thing it is clearly written schreiben z swangsish base traitsish vyotar which means complete your schreiben between 20 to 30 words and do not forget to include all the three points write at least one line for each point now on the screen you can see an example of how you can write an informal letter so now as this letter is informal so you can start it with hello roberta and remember to put the comma after that and from the next line when you will start your body then remember to write the first letter in small letter and then start your brief try to include all the three points and write one line for each points and at the end you can close your letter by writing liebe grüße and your name like this you can write a informal letter schreiben teil 2 now again read the question the question is ihr chefin frau hans and möchte dass sie am freitag abend länger arbeiten schreiben sie frau hans in eine email schreiben sie dass sie ein verstanden sind informieren sie sich über die arbeit sie möchten dann gern in der nächsten woche einmal früher nach hause gehen schreiben sie 30 bis 40 wörter schreiben sie zu allen drei punkten now when you will read the question you will come to know that this is a formal letter which means you have to use the z form while writing it plus you cannot start this letter with hallo liebe like this for an informal letter you can start it with hallo but informal you will start the letter with sehr geehrte and again you have to include all the three points in your writing plus this brief should be of 30 to 40 words now this is a formal letter so the letter starts with sehr geehrte frau hansen then a comma after that and then starts your brief and now after writing all the brief end it with vielen dank mit freundliche grüßen like this you can write a formal letter now this question is for you first read the question check whether this is formal or informal and if the letter is informal then you can start it with hello and if the letter is formal then remember to start it with sehr geehrte plus also learn some ready metals which you can use while writing your brief and do let us know in the comment section if you need the ready metals
सो गाइज हाउ वॉज द मोडाल पेपर आई होप यू एंजॉयड इट आई होप यू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग इट आई होप यू आर लर्निंग अ लॉट ऑफ न्यू वोकेबलरी अ लॉट ऑफ न्यू थिंग्स अ लॉट ऑफ न्यू ट्रिक्स सो विल सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो चिल्ड्रेन कीप लर्निंग जर्मन विद जर्मन ज्ञान टेक केयर टू